Hi guys, this is Banches and welcome to Transport Fever 2. So sit back and relax and enjoy this episode. If you guys are new to my channel, go down below and hit that subscribe button. If you guys have been here before, well welcome back. I love having you guys here. And if you guys love this video, go down below and smash that like button. Today, we will finally be playing some Transport Fever 2. Man, I have been waiting so long for this game to come out and I finally got some early access from the developers to play Transport Fever 2. So I am so pumped for you guys to actually see this um, and really dive into kind of what you to expect from Transport Fever 2. Um, I'm personally super excited for this thing. So let's just kind of get into this. If you guys have not seen before, I have done a video all you need to know about Transport Fever 2. I have it linked above here so you guys can go look at that video if you want but I would definitely highly recommend you check that out kind of gives you an overview of what transport fever 1 was and also what now transport fever 2 is going to be so we're gonna start with the campaign Mankind is constantly creating amazing new inventions okay Get involved in rapid technological progress and ensure smoothly running transportation in different regions of the world okay so it looks like here we got six different missions in three different tiers of campaigns so it looks like we got tier one two and three most likely they're going throughout the errors as you can see here probably the first one is going to be the beginning of the steam error kind of when rail transportation really started taking off in um you know america europe and also apparently now asia the second um i would say is going to be probably the steam boom time so probably in the early 1900s really when steam locomotive and transportation by rail was king of everything uh, and then probably the last step step three is going to be uh, the modern era which obviously as you all know there's no really steam anymore but we do have modern trains there will be planes boats and so on so let's get this kind of checked out and see how this goes we're gonna start with the America, first campaign in the midst of the 19th century and it looks like we're mining in the Nevada territory where until recently only a handful of buffalo grazed Ooh. nowadays it's all hustle and bustle. Beyond the Sierra and near the Carson River, gold has been found. There's supposed to be loads of it. All you need to do is dig it up. Anyone who keeps at it hard enough will be richly rewarded. What right. a splendid opportunity. Okay, cool. So that's basically gonna be the first mission. It looks like we are starting in America. We are doing a mining mission. So let's uh, get into this and see how this goes. The one thing I do love about Transport Fever is I love that narration of it. I think it is great. I love that they actually added that into the game. I think it just gives a little bit more flair to the game. But um, let's let this load. And once this loads, I'll come back to you guys and show you kind of the beginning of it. Okay. Let's Welcome see. to uncharted territory. Wow. This is beautiful looking. Wanna get rich? Yeah, I wanna get rich. Of course, who doesn't? Then you're in just the right place. Wow, the, the overall terrain is beautiful in Transport Fever 2. It is Gold a huge Rush Fever upgrade from Transport Fever 1. In Virginia City. And you? You lucky devil, you've won the mining rights for a promising claim in a poker game with the Red Dog Saloon. Okay. Soon, you'll be hauling out gold nuggets as big as a cat's head. Well, that's, that's the idea here. Definitely want to make some money. Thanks to cleverness and luck at cards, you have a gold mine all your own. Okay. Your former owner, a gal at the saloon by the name of Susie, who plays a lousy hand of poker, already took care of the groundwork and a, a practical woman. She left the necessary equipment behind too. Mm. Now all you have to do is to find the mine. Well, how how Get nice an of her. And find out where the riches lie. All right, so this is definitely a forestry area. We have a city, it looks like right here. We zoom out a little bit. What else do we got? We got some more. What is, actually, here you go. This is probably the mine right there. Virginia gold mine. Um, unless it's smaller. What is it here? So we got to use this camera, it looks like. Discover the entrance to the tunnel. Okay. Um, I'm assuming this is it over here. One of these. There we go. What a promising claim. Even though only a few boulders have been mined so far. Hmm. 
That's no reason to lose heart. It's a pretty nice Just mine. Have to dig deeper. So that's a pretty good mine for winning it in a uh, timber poker from game. Nearby forest, so that the fine shaft doesn't cave in. Okay. The beams will be excellent for stabilizing the tunnel. Well, that's perfect, Decide but this is over where here. The carts should be packed with logs. All right, so it looks like we are going to need to put in some kind of depot over here. So it says build a truck stop. That's the first thing we need to do. So I'm assuming this is roads. Let's see what we got in here. This is going to be new trying to figure this out. Vehicles. Buildings? Aha! So we got road depots, we have tram depots, truck stations, bus tram stations. So this is going to be what we want first. Okay, so let's place that in here. Explain to the sort of thick skulled driver which route he should take. Okay. Uh, so probably I would say establish a line. Let's see, configure? We're gonna go say from, ooh, ooh, hang on, what is this? All right, this is street access pass, okay. So we don't wanna do this actually. So I know these are module stations so you could expand on them. You can see kind of, it looks like these are walking paths here. All right, Virginia City, let's get rid of that. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. These are the lines right here, new line. Let's make a line from this depot over here over to this depot here. Now, there's got to be a small depot to park the horse-drawn carts, too. Okay, that makes sense. Let's get a depot in here. Wow, we have a decent amount of money. We started off with $10 million. Damn. Okay, so this is probably it right here, right? Let's see here. No, that's a tram depot, so we need a road depot. Okay. So let's place that right there. Everything's all set. Now, all you have to do is to get hold of a cart to transport the wood. Okay, simple enough. Let's build a vehicle. In here, I'm assuming this is where we can build some vehicles. All right, Virginia City Depot. Let's go here. Yep, line one. Let's go buy vehicles. So we're going to go with the American Horse Drawn Carriage. Uh, the first one, I believe, yeah, this is for passengers. This is for wood. So let's buy... A sturdy vehicle. So that's one right now. Transport and get started. So we got to get this onto a line. Let's see here. Set to line, line one. It won't be there we go. Before it's possible to dig deeper. Well then, good luck. So because I kind of, I feel like know a little bit about the game, let's get three, four cars in total. Let's put all of these on line one. So there we go. We got all of them there on line one. That is a good setup. So tips, it just says about pausing games, speeding things up. We definitely want to play the game right now. Let's see how this looks now. So if we zoom in, we can see how this actually looks. And wow. All I need to say is the developers, you guys have done an amazing job with Transport Fever 2. You guys really made this look very beautiful. Even all the detailing here in the grass. Wow, this is this is amazing. I'm very, very impressed with how Transport Fever 2 looks so far. I'm very excited for this. But um, yeah, this is cool. This is definitely an interesting uh, first mission to be playing. So let's see uh, these guys pick up some wood over here. We'll probably uh, get it stored here in the back of these wagons. Yep, and we're gonna bring this over now to the next uh, depot. We ride along, let's see here. They have to have like a ride along feature somewhere. That's stop, that's reverse. Very similar. So I'm assuming, okay, so yeah, you can go into that screen here. Here we go, riding along. Oh, cool. So there you go, we are riding along with these guys here. Going down the streets. See you how uh, detailed the city's look and everything. You can see uh, people definitely are dressed in the age. We got uh, Hanson and Scott's over here. General, was that a general store or a leather store? I couldn't read that. Got a hotel. This is awesome. I really like this. Nice. Wow, the cities are very, very uh, detailed also. This is awesome. I'm, I'm loving this aspect right now of the game. Cool. The cities are awesome. I love the cobblestone too. I, I'm, as, as I said, I'm thoroughly impressed with this game overall. Damn. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's get these guys over here and see uh, what ends up happening once we get these guys to drop off some wood. Okay, guys, we delivered logs. Not everything that glitters is gold. 
Maybe your poker partner was sharper than you thought. Despite all the hardship, the mine only brings in a few chunks of silver ore. Hmm. At best, you ought to get rid of it before it ruins you. Okay. Luckily, you greenhorns constantly get stranded in Virginia City, who you can peddle that confounded pit to you for good money. So, okay. you got rid of the silver mine for a decent amount. Time to invest this money in a lucrative venture. Okay. And there's an excellent opportunity. Uh -huh. All the ore from the mine must be transported to the silver mills down by the river. Sounds good to me. The that takes over the transport would be a promising venture. Okay, let's get this railroad going over here. I like that idea. It sounds better than mining to me. All right, so let's get into here. We got some tracks, we have buildings. So now these are also module stations, at least from what I remember uh, reading and also just networking with other people, uh, hearing what was coming out for the game. So these look like to be the overall aspect here. We can make this a smaller track. It looks like the fit, wow, snaps right in perfectly. That would, uh, that would probably be our best bet right now just to get going here. There we go. The terrain is treacherous. It requires a few very twisted curves. Okay. So what do we need to do now? What do we need to extend the tracks? Oh, yes, we do. Okay, wow. So it looks like this track is going to be something, uh, wow, okay. No wonder why we have uh, so much money because this is gonna be expensive tunneling under everything here. All right, oh, nope, we don't wanna do that. We wanna go to tracks and we wanna go here. We want to run this under the mountain right there, connect that up just like that. That will be beautiful. Man, this is gonna be a very scenic uh, route right here. So let's go something like, okay. So they're literally like making us just connect to the green marker. So we can't connect it anywhere else. And can we, nope, we're gonna have to do it as stone pillars. It's fine. Build a railroad route that rapidly transports all the ore to the valley. Okay. So let's see here now, do we need to do anything else? All right, so we need to now establish the actual line here. So let's go new line. We are gonna go from Virginia City and we are going over to here, I'm assuming. A respectable yep. railroad calls for a proper railroad station. Okay, so let's get a depot in here. Where is this wanting us to put it? Uh, it wants us to put a depot over here. Let's go to buildings, let's go to depots. And let's place this depot just like that. A truly and well done now we need to get tracks hooked up. Just to be connected. All right, so that's not gonna work. So we're just gonna go simply just it's like that. time to buy a beautiful locomotive together okay. with a few freight cars. What are we gonna get here now? So if we go into here, some locomotives. So we only have this one option. So let's buy this one. We're gonna go with thinking five to start for right now that as uh, so you can see here actually this is nice it gives us the total capacity that the train is going to be able to carry also i guess the top speed of what it is how long it is um yeah that's actually pretty nice and how much it's going to cost so overall it's not going to cost us too much we have a lot of money somehow uh probably from selling that mine so actually because of that let's just add two more i'm fine with that all right, let's uh, buy, yeah, we're gonna buy this for, let's see here. How do I put this now on the line? Nope. All right, this is uh, gonna be interesting here. Thought I could just go right into here. Nope. Nope, 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 uh, nope, not this one, so here, so this was where we had the train, which that did not look like it took, thought it would, or did it, is this paused right now, or is it running, everything's running, so it looks like that train did not take, yeah, we did not buy the vehicle, so let's go into here, we're gonna go, once again, the same exact thing here, then we're gonna go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. We're gonna buy 
Uh, so there's not enough vehicles available at this time. So do we have like a limitation on how much we can buy? Let's start with just five. Yeah, that's five. So it looks like still, once again, there's not enough vehicles available. Does it, where does it say anywhere? Try three. There we go. What a handsome so we bought place. that. Time to send it on its maiden journey. And let's place this train on track two. And let's go, boom. More transport is picking up speed. Okay. Luck, it'll make you richer let's than all see the this. Silver in Nevada. How beautiful does this look? Oh, that is, that is nice. Look at that train, guys. Our first locomotive in Transport Fever 2. It is super, super beautiful. Similar models to what are in Transport Fever 1, but just way, way more detailed than these. Oh, that's amazing. All that smoke and steam. Oh man, I'm getting giddy over this stuff. Woo! Okay. Let's, uh, let's get this thing rolling, getting this thing up to speed here. We need to deliver some silver ore to, it looks like, our city over here so let's get this coming in over here on this track and let's see what this uh looks like so uh just a quick overview guys if you guys like transport fever too and you guys want to see some more videos like i said before smash that like button on the video and also leave a comment down below i would love to hear overall what you guys uh are thinking about this game and then what we could basically do going forward for the series, because I definitely think this is going to be a lot of fun uh, to play. So let me know what you guys think. We have our train coming in here, it looks like now, to finally get our first bits of silver getting picked up. We're definitely running a deficit already, but that's fine. So yeah, right now we are gonna start going through the new campaign mode of Transport Fever 2, um, see how that looks overall. And then probably from there, we're gonna start going eventually into a free play mode and really get to explore a lot of what Transport Fever 2 has to offer. This game definitely has a lot to offer, so I'm super, super excited for it. Wow, I, I'm still just so excited for this game. But, all right, let's get this train to the next city, and we are gonna be going to Carson City Cargo Station. Once we get there, I will be back with you guys. Okay, guys, and we have arrived with our silver. Boom, there we go, we made some money. Thanks to your railroad, silver smelting is moving fast and furious. Cool. Meanwhile, all sorts of fine ladies and high-class gents get off in Carson City. Make sure they don't ruin their good shoes hmm. on the muddy streets. Okay. Find out about the needs of your future passengers. Okay. Okay, well, let's see here. Where are these layers? Okay, looks like they are up here. Aha. Different. Your services are needed to the same degree everywhere in town. Okay. So commercial, obviously residential, and then we have industrial over there. Okay. Now it's saying build stops. So let's get some, I'm assuming they want bus stops in here. So let's go, ooh, I like that. that that's nice how that sets up. Okay, we're gonna do a bus stop there. Another bus stop there. And last but not least, let's do a bus stop right over there. Make sure your coaches don't miss any stops. Okay. And what do we need to do next is probably get the line going. So let's go into here. New line. We're going to go from here to there to there and Build back. Build a depot where the horses can be hitched up and the coaches can wait. Okay. So let's get a depot also in here. This is a very, very similar to Transport Fever 1, which is really nice because I love kind of the feel for Transport Fever 1. So that you can get okay, so let's get vehicles and let's buy where I three to start. That was usually my number I would use uh, for when I would play the original Transport Fever. And then let's select all these guys. Let's send them all to line three. Great. First passengers are already awesome. 
So you can see already what these guys look like. And it looks like, I'm guessing these guys in here are like, yeah, these are just locals riding their wagons. So here we go. We got uh, some beautiful wagons going out right now. That should be uh, pretty cool. Let's see how this goes overall. I'm, I'm very excited to see how this goes. Okay. So let's just wait a little bit. See, we gotta transport five passengers. So it's gonna take a little bit to do. Let's uh, just do a little quick look, see here how this looks. Yeah, once again, these towns are so beautiful. Damn. All right, we'll wait for these five people to get loaded up. And once that is done, I will be back with you guys. Boom, we completed it, guys. Well, not too long ago, there was nothing more than a dreary two-bit town. A magnificent little city now flourishes, thanks to your transportation services. Awesome. The locals even call it the miracle of Carson City. Huh. More, more people want to try their luck there. Obstacles shouldn't be put in their way. Get into the passenger business. Your tickets will be the hottest item in town. Awesome. Make Sweet. sure that the rest of the world is finally connected to Carson City. A veritable boom town. Okay, let's do this. Uh, this is going to be the fun part here. Like I mentioned, guys, if you guys want to see an actual, like, live series go around, um, I could also do a live stream of Transport Fever. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I also have a few other options we can do. Let's see. I thought that would hook in like that, but... Hmm. Must connect to the road. Oh, there we go. We'll do that and then this is now gonna go out but like I was saying sorry guys, I got sidetracked right there we could do a live stream for transport fever 2 um, you guys have to let me know in the comments section down below if you guys want to see a live stream for the game I would be more than happy to do a live stream for this game because I will definitely be playing this game a lot coming up right now because um, this game like I mentioned the original transport fever was one of my favorite games it is currently the longest series we have on the channel and we will definitely be continuing uh, to do that with train Transport train Fever 2. Brings people from all over the world. Awesome. Connecting up the cities. Okay, cool. So that is good. Now let's just see here. We might need... We need to throw in... Oh, uh, yeah, we got to buy a train. So let's see. Is there any depot? There's no depot down here, but is there a depot up here? No depots. All right, so we got to put a depot also on this line here. Let's do something like, I don't know. Let's say over here, we're just gonna shoot this off quickly. Just like that. And then we're gonna take here, buildings, depot, snap that into place. Perfect. And let's buy a passenger train. Oh man. So we're gonna go with the locomotive. We're gonna go with, I think it's only gonna allow us to really do two cars to start. Oh, three carriages. That's why. I only did two. All right, buddy, you have to go back into the depot. Let's well, send you back in. There we go. He'll go back into the depot, and we'll add another car onto there and go from there. Shouldn't be that bad. Just got to uh, keep things uh, rolling here. So let's uh, speed that up just to get him going in there. But yeah, you guys want to let me know, like I said, if you guys want to see a live stream, we're also going to be doing a, a sandbox mode. Definitely coming up. Probably... I don't know. We'll do one definitely very, very soon. But can I just slide these up? How do I... Now, this is going to be the fun part. So I can edit... Oh, there we go. That's how you edit them. And then you can do buy, which adds the third one. That's exactly what we need. Modify there. Time to Perfect. The line from Reno to okay. Town Boom. Built on silver. Now we have that going. Cool. So now you guys can see we have the actual uh, objective of how many people we need to bring back and forth. So that's what we're going to be do working on right now, just trying to get this going. So this should definitely be interesting. I'm going to let this uh, run for a little bit. You guys can see the model here, and I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Boom! We did it, guys. We have completed the mission. Cluster of pathetic shacks has become the swankiest town in the whole West, where you find the most exquisite shops, the best saloons, and the loveliest ladies of ill repute far and wide. Well, that was great. Suggests itself to spend those silver dollars okay. you so richly deserved. 
your railroad business is the real gold mine in the state of Nevada. Well, that was really good. Um, let's uh, end today's episode here for Transport Fever 2. Like I mentioned, guys, this is the first look at Transport Fever 2. We are gonna be doing a more in-depth let's play of this, going really in-depth with everything. We're just kind of going through the beginning of the campaign so you guys can kind of see what to expect with the campaign when the game comes out um, on, what is it, December 11th, I think it's coming out on? Yeah, so when the game comes out, at least you kind of expect what to see. So, uh, yeah, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, like always, my name is Banches. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, go down below, smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel. If you guys really like Transport Fever 2, also hit that notification bell because we are going to be posting a lot of stuff about Transport Fever 2 coming up. So definitely get on to it and definitely uh, stick around for the next episode. But uh, until next time, guys, my name is Banches, and I will see all of you guys in the next episode. See you guys later.